Hi guys, I just wanted to do a quick little video to show you um, some little coin tags that I made for a, a custom order for a really beautiful person that I met through our junk journal down under group on Facebook. Her name, I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong, but her name is Uni, I think. It's spelt J-U-N-I. But I think she said the J is silent. So it's either uni or uni, something like that. Sorry if I've got it wrong. But um, she has a YouTube channel as well. And I, I'll put a link to her channel down in the description box below. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, head over to her, her channel because she makes the cutest little um, faith journals. And I think she's relatively new to junk journaling. Um, maybe not, but, um, I know she said, she mentioned she's trying to find her style and I think her style is definitely vintage because I, I saw a, a flip through she did the other day and it was really, really beautiful. Um, but anyway, go check her channel out. And the reason I wanted to share these, um, I did show some little coin tags, uh, that I made, um, a while back just with one and two cent copper coins because I have this whole jar of them and I thought they would be cute in junk journals just um, you know if you're giving them as a gift I've put the year there 1970 um, just as a little gift for a birthday or anniversary just a nice little touch you know for their year of birth or something like that now when I made the original tags I just sewed around um, the PVC or vinyl, I'm not sure what it is, but um, all the way around. So the coin is stuck in there. Now, when Uni, um, she, she requested me to make a few and she had a really, really good idea, which I didn't think of before, but she asked if I could put a little pocket on the front of the tag for her so that she could pull the coin out. Um... To see it if they wanted so so these ones for her i've made a little pocket on the front so that you can pull the coin in and out and you know i thought it was a really really good idea she came up with um just so you you can pull the coin in and out have a look at it i thought it was really cute but anyway just don't tip them upside down because i'll may fall out but i think they they came out really gorgeous and she asked for a different colour trim, uh, more uh, vintage style, like a coffee colour. But as well, um, I was only using copper coins previously and um, she asked for some older years, which luckily I did have except for 1950 she wanted. So she asked for 50, 53, 54, 55. For some reason, I have every year except 1950. So I had like 49 and 51, but no 50. And I even had coins back to 1908. Um, really, um, you know, roughed up um, and grungy, but um, they're really cute. And so didn't have 50. And funny enough, so she replaced it with 86. And 86 was the one year that they didn't mint one and two cent coins. So... Um, so then we had to change another year. So we had some bad luck with that one. But um, I think they came out really cute. So the 53 coin is it's an Australian penny. So I don't think you can see on camera. But you can Google it if you want to see what it looks like. It's got a kangaroo on the front. Um, actually, this coin is a half penny, not a penny. The, the pennies were a bit bigger than this. Okay, I wasn't around in 1953. I only know because my mum gave me some. I'm old, but not that old. Okay, so that was a penny. And then these little silver guys for 54 and 55. So these are the pre-decimal coins. Um, I don't think I'll be able to get that. But it's got our little um, coat of arms on it. Um, you probably can't see on camera, but really, really cute. And this this one was a sixpence. Um, 
So luckily I had a few of the years that she wanted except that 50 and 86. But anyway, I thought they were super cute and I just wanted to show her her good idea of the little pocket in the front. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching.